half a day everyone um finally i'm gonna try to vlog today so i have a new video to put out this week so i'm just gonna kind of show you what we're doing today i'm gonna get ready and by ready i mean i'm just gonna try to throw some like eyeliner on and maybe a little bit of concealer um i have a physical therapy appointment i need to leave for in like 30 minutes so i'm just gonna get ready I don't know if you can hear Justin singing in the background. No, this lighting's like really sucky. We're still in Del Rio, in case anyone was wondering. What you doing? Starting my vlog. Mm -hmm. Putting a little concealer on so I don't look dead. Is it, I don't think you look dead, Mama. Thanks. You're the prettiest girl there is. You done being fussy? Yeah. Grayson's been super fussy. Um, I don't think I'm producing enough milk or not as much as I used to. That or he's like teething. I have no idea, but I think we're going to stop breastfeeding soon. Because right now he seems super fussy. He pops off the boob and starts crying. So, or I guess not crying, but fussing. And then we just offer him some milk in a bottle. I don't want him to starve, you know. But that's what I'm assuming. This is just purely going off of him being fussy. He can be fussy for a number of reasons. And it might not even be that. Um, I don't pump anymore. I haven't pumped in like a month and a half, maybe, maybe two months. So I'm not really sure how much milk I'm actually making because when I used to pump like twice a day, I would do it like right before bed and I'd get like three, four ounces, which was fine because it's like the end of the day. But then in the mornings when I would wake up, I'd pump like around 11 ounces a day in the morning. So I was like, oh, cool. Still making milk, but... I don't do that anymore, so I have no idea what I am making or if I'm making anything. I know I'm making some, but probably my guess is not enough to keep Grayson full. So I've been giving him bottles after we breastfeed and then he gets a little, a few ounces with his solids too. I've been on a kick recently watching YouTube videos of people PCSing because I am hopeful that that will be us soon in like a few months. Well, I'm at least hoping that we find out where we're going soon. My top bases in no particular order is Nellis, which is in Vegas, Hawaii, which I think is Hickam Air Force Base, and then Anderson, which is in Guam. And then I think we like uh, Colorado Springs area. I don't know, besides the academy. Is there a different Air Force base besides the academy in Colorado Springs? Peterson. Oh, so either Peterson or the academy. So those are like our top choices. Well, actually I'll say those are my top choices. I don't know, I think Justin kind of wants to go more overseas. I'm not sure. We're thinking we want to buy our first house at our next base, but again, it just depends where we're going. Like the area, and if it's actually worth buying a house, because it's not going to be somewhere we're going to stay. Like we'll be there for what, three years and then PCS to somewhere else. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on the area. But yeah, so I just put mascara and some eyeliner on and I'm going to leave soon. Hi, crybabies. You getting your bottle? I'm not crybaby. Really? You just fuss butt? Tom Colbert's. I'm actually at the hospital. That's where I'm doing my PT at. Um, and it's freaking January. I just realized it's January of 2022. And I got the referral for this PT back in October. And it's taken me this long to finally get in contact with them and set up this appointment. Like, I got the referral. My insurance usually sends out the letter to them. And then they're supposed to contact me to set up the appointment didn't hear anything for like three weeks because you're like oh wait like 10 days and I was like okay 10 business days whatever so three weeks later hadn't heard anything and I'm like okay what the heck I call the Ben group on base and they were just like oh you just actually have to call the facility and I was like okay that's not what the doctor told me the doctor actually told me to call the med group and ask about it if I hadn't heard from the PT place so whatever um I pulled up the letter found out who it was it was through the hospital so I called them uh, left a message didn't hear anything back after like a week I called again nothing and then I called a third time finally got someone on the phone from the physical therapy like section or whatever department and they're like oh send me an email with your letter and we'll get things going sent the email like as soon as I got off the phone and then didn't hear anything and then like the holidays happened so I just kind of waited till after and then I think last week like last Thursday like right before New Year's I 
emailed the lady again like hey i haven't heard anything i sent all my information and then she's like oh can you just call and set up the appointment called them and they actually answered and i got an appointment so everything is set up and i'm finally here but that's like three months to get physical therapy it was so crazy i guess i'll let you guys know how it was if you need physical therapy and you don't think it's anything interesting Okay, I am at Chick-fil-A with my chin diaper on right now. I'm trying to get my ID out so I can get it ready for the thing. Hold on, this guy's gonna talk to me. I don't really wanna talk to him right now. Is that rude? <laughs> you yes. Okay, hopefully the music's not too loud. Let me, Let me put my food down. <laughs> I just got Justin and I lunch at Chick-fil-A. So I went to my PT and they told me to go 20 minutes early for like paperwork and shit. But they were going took like two minutes. So I was there like 30 minutes early for no freaking reason. Um, and then it, they were like 15 minutes late getting me. It was like 11.15 when they finally took me back because they were like waiting for a room to open up. They took me back and it was just the evaluations. I wasn't there very long. They gave me some exercises to do at home until next week. And then I go twice next week. Um, so that's like when my actual sessions start. And oh, I went to the post office. I had to mail something to Kimmy. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if you do, I just mailed you your stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I freaking don't have hand sanitizer in this Car. We have like three small bottles of hand sanitizer in our other car, but for some reason we have none in this car, so I'm like, I can't really touch things. Like, I want to eat a freaking french fry right now from Chick-fil-A, but I can't. I don't know if I've ever said this, but like, I think back in November or something, I finally, well, I'd say I, but we, Justin and I, finally paid off my student loans. No longer in debt with my student loans. Um, Everything's paid off, which was great. So don't have to worry about that anymore. You know, right now with the whole pandemic, they had like taken out off interest rates off of student loans. So I wasn't incurring anything. So we just continued to make payments. That way it would go down quicker and we wouldn't have to actually go because of no interest, which worked out great in our favor. So we've been playing for, paying for the last like two years that wasn't interest rates. Uh, so anyways, Justin took Grayson to get his second dose of his flu shot. So he got his first dose at his six month appointment. And then she said, after like 30 days, you have to get your second dose. So he got that while I was gone. He said, as soon as Grace, oh, you know what? Tell me if this is normal because you know, I don't know, no one tells you how to take care of kids or like what happens, but like for everyone that has a, a kid, is it normal that around like five or six months, cause he's seven months now, but like six months maybe, do they start crying a lot when they enter into buildings? Because Grayson does that every single time. As soon as we enter into a building, like um, if we go to the grocery store or like Walmart or something like that, he cries as soon as like we get in um, and Justin said like as soon like he was walking up to the building and Grayson started crying when he was going uh, to the med group so he was crying in the med group so is that a thing do babies just like cry when they go into buildings is it like over stimulating I feel like that's a thing but I honestly I'm just making shit up <laughs> these fucking cars why do the cars always make a right turn out in front of you and then like just hope that you get over I hate that I'm pulling up to the base gates right now so that's why I have my mask under my thing until I can get in there and pull up to this guy. Hello ma'am. Hi. Oh, one more time? Oh sorry. <laughs> Alright have a good day. Thank you you too. Ooh. Can't come with this crazy kid He's standing up on me. Okay, not on me. Ooh. Hi. Want to say hi to everybody? Say hi for day. <laughs> Ow, your elbow. It hurts. Hi. <laughs> say mama. Ooh. 
Say hi. <laughs> Grayson's eating these cheater. It's a banana peach one. They're like wafer guys. So he gets one of those a day with um, usually like two, three ounces of milk. But I'll defrost. Um, I didn't feel like defrosting milk today, so I did four ounces of formula. And yeah. Sometimes I give him formula if I'm lazy and don't feel like defrosting things. <laughs> so it's seven o'clock right now. Grayson went down for bed about 15 minutes ago and I am starting, not breakfast for Sansa, I'm starting dinner. Whoa. Um, I'm just making like quesadillas because we don't have any food when we haven't gone to the grocery store. We keep forgetting. So we had some shredded cheese and a bunch of tortillas. So I'm just going to make us some quesadillas for dinner. Grayson's in bed. I'm about to start eating soon. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.